Today is a glorious day, my friends, because the greatest event in all of Dokkan Battle has finally returned to the game. And yes, I am talking about this event right here. Hope Fight Against Despair, AKA the Future Trunks and Future Gohan event. And I know some of you are probably thinking to yourselves right now, why is this guy so excited for this event? Like what's so special about it? Let me show you right now. So let's jump into this info tab over here. Go to the bottom here. And this is what we're after. You see what's going on over here, guys? So for stage two Z hard, you get two gravity chambers, which is pretty nice, pretty standard. But here's the crazy thing, guys. It is a guaranteed drop with every single clear. No matter how many times you run through the stage, you will always get two gravity chambers. I know. I just blew your mind. <laughs> and if it, that didn't blow your mind, and you're a fairly new player to the game and you don't know how valuable gravity chambers are, let me tell you right now. Gravity chambers are probably the second most valuable resource in the entire game next to Dragon Stones. And the reason for that is because they double the effectiveness of all your training items. So in terms of leveling up your characters, awakening them, uh, grinding up super attack for certain units, they are so key and will help you so much. So you are going to want to have as many gravity chambers in your account as possible. So what I would recommend for you to do right now is actually run this event as many times as you can and get maximum gravity chambers. That's 999 gravity chambers. And then go use some of those gravity chambers and then come back to this event and then grind some more of them. That's how important and how valuable they are. I'm personally going to be doing that. And if you don't do it, that's totally up to you. But I'm going to tell you right now, you're probably going to regret that decision. <laughs> so before we jump into the event and give you guys a little preview of what it looks like, let's go to the bottom here. And I want to talk about this too. So for stage 10, 11, and 12, you can actually get some pretty fire support units. So this Android 8, this Future Bulma, and the Icarus are all really, really great uh, support items. So if you want to get a few of those, if you're running low, then definitely consider that. But by far, by far our number one priority, number one priority are these gravity chambers. So without further ado, let's get into it. Like I said, you're going to be running stage 2 on Z Hard. And it's called the Androids Arrive. And it doesn't really matter what team you use to run through the stage, because honestly, it is really, really simple, uh, really easy. At the end, you just have a Piccolo that has like 150k HP, I think. So literally any team can beat this stage. You don't have to worry about that. I'm just bringing my Ultra Instinct Goku because I love this unit, even though he hasn't been Doken Awakened yet. Um, I, I just love the character design and I don't really care if this team is not really that great right now. <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, this video should be dropping on New Year's Day. So if you're watching this on New Year's or within a few days of the beginning of 2018, then Happy New Year's. I hope you guys had an amazing uh, New Year celebration or whatever way you decided to ring in the New Year. Actually, let me know in the comments down below how you celebrated New Year's whether it be a big family party with a bunch of people or just, you know, chilling on your couch or in your bed playing video games. That's totally cool too. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear that. <laughs> For me personally, I just had a uh, pretty chill dinner with family and uh, filmed YouTube videos. <laughs> That's kind of what I like to do with my time. You know, you know what? I'm going to do me and you guys do you. No judgment from any side. <laughs> uh, aside from that, I actually really want to hear about what kind of New Year's resolutions you guys have set for yourself because I love to hear uh, you know, what goals people have for themselves or what things they want to learn for New Year's and just try to improve themselves in any way possible. That is one of my favorite things, favorite things to hear. So if you have some really cool resolutions or even some pretty basic resolutions, let me know about that in the comments down below as well. I would love to see those guys. I'm serious. Like I know some people just say like, oh, I. Uh, tell me about blah 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 like I'm so interested. I am legitimately interested guys So if you have some of those resolutions, or you had a really cool New Year celebration Let me know in the comments down below. I'll respond to you. We can have a cool conversation over there 
So there you go, guys. Clear the stage really quick. Took me a minute and a half because I was talking so much. Normally, it will take you less than a minute. And you will get those guaranteed gravity chambers, as you can see here. Um, I'm, I was running really low on them, as you can see. But I'm very soon going to have 999, trust me. So let's go to training now and level something up. I think I'm actually going to do... Hmm. Let's go over here, and I'm going to level up one of my Janembas, because I'm actually trying to grind up my Strength Janemba to SA10 with the AGL Janembas. And when you're doing grinds like this, this is when the uh, Gravity Chambers are especially key, because these grinds take so many training items that having your training item effectiveness be doubled is just insanely helpful. So you see here, it's gonna take me three turtle shells. I, I originally put up two, but I meant three. Three turtle shells, but normally it would have taken six. So that is amazing. And that's why gravity chambers are so, so, so key. And that's why you want as many of them as you can possibly get your hands on. By the way, do you guys see those uh, kimono 18s we got in our box? That's a really nice looking unit, I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, 18 always look good, but in that kimono especially, mm, that's, that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> but there we go, we have my uh, Super Janemba up to level 80 now, and uh, the gravity chamber did its work. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you found this very useful. I'm gonna tell you one last time, go grind those gravity chambers. If you don't do it, it's up to you. You guys do you, but I guarantee you will be very upset in the future when you run out of training items and you're like, damn, I should have listened to Tiger and gotten more gravity chambers. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys like the video, then consider liking the video and hit that big red subscribe button and consider joining the Tiger Squad today. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. I hope you guys have an awesome day, have an awesome new year. And this was Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.